G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, today I had another look at Antonio's video on gravity and how he had dropped the ball on dropping that heavy feather and that light hammer. Well, maybe there is something in this after all. So, what Antonio didn't do that I did do was to have a look at some moon videos. Okay, Antonio, settle down. I know you had a look at some moon videos too, but... I mean, I had a proper look with my whole eye. I used all my retina and all, not just my fovea. Here is a couple of videos I have. One from Jem Panda, and he's done a magnificent job of actually calculating the pendulum swing times using the gravities of the moon and the earth. And it shows that it has to be on the moon. He then even speeds up some of the videos to show the pendulum as it would be swinging on the earth. And all the other motions now look very odd. Huh, interesting. Then I found another video in my archive by Brian Pop Robson, and he has basically done exactly the same thing a year or so ago. So, independently came up with the same result. So I'll show you both of these videos. Enjoy them, guys, and just think of Antonio rubbing his poor little eyes at the moment as the tears stream down his face.
Hi there, this is Brian Pop Robson here again, making videos for the first time in a little while. Basically to answer an idiot hoax believer who thinks that uh, there is something wrong with this uh, clip of a bag swinging on the mesa table. When in reality, what it does is prove that the bag is on the moon. Now, if you take the clip from when the bag starts swinging, until when the astronaut stands in front of it you will see if you can count them yourself rather than me counting them for you there is 19 swings the duration of them swings is 52 seconds that gives a period of 2.74 seconds for the bag swinging now a normal pendulum has a bob with a long string but in this instance because the bag is swinging in totality you can take the fact that the bag is the entire pendulum with the small little three centimeter clip at the top forming the whole pendulum from the ALSJ we can see that the actual bag is approximately 25 centimeters deep and the tag at the top is approximately three centimeters that's by visual inspection as opposed to an actual measured amount but for the sake of this video I think that's quite accurate the other thing that is very apparent from when you watch this video is the lack of any atmosphere because the motions of the pendulum are not damped our uh, hoax believer friends come up with this stupid idea that the bag was over a vent and providing airflow and that the astronauts were actually trying to hide this fact. While we're on the subject, I'd just like to give a little shout out to Waldemar Figueroa or whatever his name is, a sock puppet uh, account that made me sit and think about this a little bit more and get me off my fat backside to actually make a video again. So, without further ado, let's get on with the maths, which Mr. Strange hates. The formula governing pendulum swings is quite simple, in that the period of the swing equals 2 pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum over the gravitational constant in metres per second per second. The gravitational constant for the Earth is 9.81, and the gravitational constant for the Moon is 1.62. From watching the video, we can see that there was 19 swings in 552 seconds, giving us a period of 2.74. You can actually time these periods yourself, but by doing an average like this, it gives you a more accurate figure. So don't take my word for it. Go back in the video, time it with a stopwatch, and count the swings yourself. All we have to do now is substitute the figures we have into the formula. So looking at the figures, if we pretend we're on the moon, we have a g of 1.62 meters per second per second, so 2 pi over the square root of 0.28 over 1.62 uh, gives us 2 pi times the square root of 0.1728389, which gives us a figure of 2 pi times 0.415739, which gives us a figure of 2.612 against a measured figure of 2.74 pretty accurate i would say if we now take the figures for the earth and so substituting 9.81 which is the gravitational constant for the earth you will see that by working it out with 2 pi times 0.18694 we have a figure of about 1.06 seconds which means that the pendulum would swing every second so we can see from this that it definitely wasn't on the earth it was on the moon so thank you mr strange for pointing me in the direction of this video and proving categorically that man landed on the moon So guys, if you've made it to the end of here, you've obviously liked what I've done, so click subscribe, share and all that stuff. But more importantly, 
these other two guys you give them a bit of a click and a share and a subscribe too they're both well under under subscribed so i've left the links in the description and help these guys out they've done some really good stuff i like it and certainly a tad more scientific than mr drop the feather